meeting a need in the aviation field while also building careers. I'm Kendall Brandt in Crestview. It's about 100 miles from Tallahassee, and FSU is bringing some of their faculty and partnering with colleges in the Panhandle to give students a hands-on opportunity with aerospace engineering. FSU President Richard McCullough says the university is constantly helping their own students and others in higher education. Supporting uh, the entry to education is core to who I am as a person. He's doing that through FSU's partnership with four Northwest Florida colleges and TCC for a project aimed at building the workforce in aviation. The goal is really to help to build a workforce development, especially for this region, but for the state of Florida. McCullough tells me they're taking some of the faculty and inviting students to come west for hands-on training in aerospace engineering. It's a field that's high in demand right now. Research firm Oliver Wyman estimates there's a shortage of 12,000 to 18,000 aviation mechanic workers. The president of Northwest State Florida College tells me there's 300 jobs open in their area right now. What is really missing is the ability to have educated workforce development, uh, folks from this area providing uh, the kind of talent that people need to not only grow those companies in this region, but also attract new companies to Northwest Florida. The partnership between the colleges and FSU will be through the Inspire Institute. It'll give students experience on equipment like this at nearby airports, private companies, and even with U.S. defense operations. President of Northwest Florida State College Devin Stevenson says he's excited for the possibility of bringing minds from FSU in to collaborate with his students and staff. The piece that's magic for us is that you've got research and development, and teaching and learning working hand in hand. Stevenson says they want their area to attract people from all across Florida as an aerospace engineering hub. He says the careers are good for their students in the panhandle, but can also attract students living in Tallahassee. They're high wage, high demand careers with security for advancement. And that's the critical piece that really uh, draws us to this. You know, it's just putting one foot in front of the other. And McCullough says they are fully committed to helping train the people to fill those positions. These are things that we're 100% focused on right now and, and all good for the state of Florida. 